We don't need to lose weight to look slimmer. We don't need to wear shapewear. We've all been there, haven't we? Squashed into that shapewear like a sausage. And does it really work? No, we've put our backs out. We're feeling a strain. It's tight and the bulges are just oozing out somewhere else. We can do better than that to look slimmer, can't we? Now the goal is to use illusion, magic tricks, you know, and they work. We wonder how on earth did they do that? And people wonder how on earth did you do that? You're not looking like a sausage squashed out of your skin, but you're looking so slim. And it does not need to be whole body. If you've got particularly large areas of your body you're concerned about, you can apply these tricks to those areas as well. Starting off with patterns and stripes. Yes, horizontal stripes are expanding. They take the eye wide. And that is not just, say, the pattern, say, in a striped t-shirt. We love our Bretons, but if you are trying to diminish your width, it's not going to be the best option for you. But also think about where the hemline of a top falls. If you've got a wide waist or a wide hips, you aren't going to want the hemline to fall there. Because again, that in itself is a horizontal stripe. Instead, with those hemlines, opt for that finishing where you've got the slimmest part of you. So if, if you've got a wide hips, maybe it's your waist is slimmer and vice versa. Opt for your vertical stripe because that takes the eye downwards. And by taking the eye of the observer downwards, you are lengthening yourself in their eye. Yes, it's an illusion. You haven't really lost weight, but it works. Now we can also use patterns as camouflage in other ways as well. So think of floral, ditzy floral, splattered around your top or your dress is camouflage. Avoid large patterns though, large print, large florals. They will expand over your body, over your larger areas or your whole body that you're trying to diminish and they will look unshapely and it will just look all, all odd and it won't won't achieve what you're trying to achieve. So opt for the small ditzy patterns on your items. And one clever pattern that you could look out for is say panels at the side, darker panels at the side would be very, very slimming. Not so easy to find those items, but if you do see a dress or a skirt or trousers even with darker side panels, stock up on it. Yes, darker colors are going to be more slimming. They're more forgiving. In a lighter color, rimple, wrinkles and bumps and stretches of clothing as well as expansion of clothing all shows whereas the darker diminishes that appearance and in itself is a slimming colour. Now when you make that darker colour a monochromatic look as well head to toe in one colour elongating slimming it has the same that same effect as the vertical stripe it's drawing the eye downwards optical illusion. A top with some clever ruching will hide lumps and bumps as well. A wrap top is often v-necked and we'll come on to v-necks, but wrap tops themselves hide lumps and bumps. Peplum tops can hide that stomach area, the tummy area. These elastane materials and including t-shirty materials with elastane in, just cling to those bumps and just mould themselves to it, enhancing the appearance of that belly. And if you've got, you know, like a bread belly, I have bread belly, which is, uh, you know, I just get bloated. So a dress like this, for instance, is a fantastic option for me. If you suffer bread belly, you know what I mean. Now let's also look out for straight materials, straight shapes. They can also cling. Boxy shapes, they're very nature, boxy, they're square. A square is going to be widening, more widening than say a rectangular shape, so a longer top. Luckily, we're seeing a lot more in the way of relaxed fitting clothes and relaxed fitting fibres, natural fibres, the cottons and the linens and the wools and so on. So look for those items, they're not going to be clinging to you in such a way and they drape in a more relaxed manner that will be flattering to our bodies. By adding a bit of length to our look, we can also give ourselves a slimmer appearance as well. So elongating our length by matching maybe our footwear to our trousers, footwear to a maxi skirt, maxi dress. Using a pointed toe on your footwear is elongating and then just takes the eye just further, further along, which is gonna have that 
slimming effect. V-necks such as this one here is also going to be elongating. Avoid crew necks because they're going to tend to, uh, by chopping this off here, can make us look shorter and broader. So the shorter tops we are aiming to look for, as well as the ones already mentioned, um, as well as the wrap tops and the ruche and the peplums, look for vertical striped uh, button downs, button ups, blouses, shirts, and with necklines, as well as the, the V neck, which is going to be slimming and elongating, look for the scoop necks, look for the boat neck, Avoid your crew neck, avoid your turtleneck if you're worried about uh, wanting to slim down the upper part of your body. Now, if you have got, say, a larger bust and that's the area you're trying to hide, you're not going to want horizontal stripes on top. You're not going to want a crew neck. You're not going to want a turtleneck. So avoid those. Anything that is going to just show off in plain material, plain colour, a large expanse of chest. Now this would also go, say, for the rear, so apply these same techniques. But talking about the chest area, you want to break it up if you've got a large chest you're worried about. So you're not going to want to have a light turtleneck unless it's a really relaxed fit. But generally, you're gonna to want to avoid, say, a light colored turtleneck. Go for darker colors on top. Break up the chest area with more V-necks. Also, jewelry will also break up that area. Wrap tops will break up that area because they're often V-neck as well. Now, here's an example of me. This was about 20 years ago, but you see, I'm not a particularly big chested, but I was a larger lady at that time, probably two stone heavier than I am now, but, you can see this tight elastane t-shirt, crew neck, and on top of that, writing right across the chest. That's not a distraction, it's an attraction. And you're gonna want a supportive bra because whatever size you are, whether you're worrying about your chest or just worrying about your size generally, you don't want to have your chest extended down your stomach and down towards your knees. You need some separation, your chest needs to be up and not part of your belly. So a well-fitting bra, once it's holding you up, will then define your waistline and won't allow your chest to then merge with your belly and all become one mass. Now, a, a trick you could also use would be to layer a cardigan or a blazer, preferably in a darker color, a long cardigan, long blazer, will streamline that look and elongate and slim you, especially being that darker color, slim you in. It'll act, act like that side, those darker side panels I was talking about earlier on as say a color block uh, pattern that would slim. But be aware of bulky and or cropped cardigans because they will just add bulk and widen your figure. And don't think you need to hide yourself within wide, baggy, loose clothes. That actually has the effect that you've actually got a bigger body under that loose clothes because the clothes you're wearing is actually wider than your real body. That's going to make you look bigger. Don't fall for that trap. Show your body. Wear clothes that are skimming your body. You don't want them tight and showing wrinkles and bumps and lumps. Skim your body. Show your waistline. If you've got big hips, but you've got a nice waist, show it. If you've got a nice chest, but you've got big hips, show your chest, enhance that. Draw the eye to that area with some jewelry. So aim for well-fitting, relaxed fit, skimming clothes. Use the power of accessories. Yes, we can use accessories to draw the eye away from problem areas. Now, if it's your chest, maybe you want big, bold earrings, draw the eye up. Even if it's your hips, you might want to draw the eye up to big, bold earrings. But if you're not so worried about your chest, but you've got wide hips, then you can also add in the factor of adding big, bold necklace to the effect of illusion. Draw the eye to the necklace area to around here, away from your hips. If you've got a lovely waist, wear a Gorgeous belt that people are going to look at. If you've got gorgeous feet, use some lovely shoes so people look at your feet. And then we've got jeans and trousers. My preference is to avoid high rise and the low rise. The low rise, my belly hangs over the top of. The high rise, my belly is molded and, and cl clings to the material and is pushed outwards, especially when they're elastane, and, and, and everyone can see this lovely rounded protruding tummy. No, for me, my best option is unelastained trousers and jeans with 
a mid-rise so the belt is falling across my belly button in itself it acts as shapewear holding my belly in when you're looking for dresses these lovely a lines I and mean, this this is an example of what, what i'm wearing at the moment so this is one i've just got from Bowden in pink so it falls a line it falls under my bust obviously it's got a v-neck it's also got sleeves that are hiding my any flabby arms that may be there and it's falling away from the the waist pockets as well linen material skimming down the side of me and hiding the fact I've actually got bread belly as I was mentioning earlier on. So wrap dresses, ruche dresses, uh, A-line dresses are absolutely the perfect summer option. Some other summer hacks to look absolutely fantabulastic this summer is in a video here I've got prepared for you and I'll see you there.